Here is the question number 7. Identify the acid and base from which sodium chloride is obtained. Which type of salt is it? When is it called rock salt? And how is rock salt formed? These informations you have to give and then you will get full 3 marks. Let us check how to write the solution for this. The very first thing you have to write that the name of acid and the base from which sodium chloride is obtained. We know that sodium chloride is a common salt and it is obtained from the acid and the base which are HCl and NaOH. So, the important key terms are acid and a base, hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide that is the base. It means for each of these acid and base you will get half mark and this point will give you one mark after that. The second part is there which type of salt is it? It is a neutral salt we know that and why it is neutral salt because its pH is 7 and simply you can write it that it is a neutral salt. If you write that it is a neutral salt then you will get half mark here. Now after this there is another part when is it called rock salt? Again the next part of the question why it is called rock salt? You can say that sodium chloride is also found in nature in the solid form or in the form of large crystal you can write and these large crystals are often brown in color due to impurities and this is called rock salt. Simply you can answer this and now the question arises how this rock salt is formed. You can simply answer this by writing here that beds of rock salt were formed when seas of bygone ages dried up. It means seas from the primitive era got dried up and they get changed into rock salt. This would be your answer. So, how many marks will you get for writing this? If you write this, you will get one mark here. The definition for the rock salt, what is rock salt? And further, if you write that, how it is formed, then you will get half mark. So, total three mark you will obtain for question number seven. And after this, it is a turn for the next question that is question number eight. Here is your question number eight. Based on the group valency of elements, write the molecular formula of the following compounds. Giving justification for each, it means you have to mention the chemical formula as well as you have to give the justification for doing so. In this case, first we have to write the oxide of first group elements. Let us deal with this part only oxide of first group elements. You have to write the molecular formula for this. You can mention that you are assuming that the first group element we denoted by P. I am just assuming that there is certain element of the group 1 and that is P. Now, symbol we have already taken P, symbol for oxygen is O and valency we know that for oxygen the valency is 2 while if I talk about the first group element definitely the valency would be 1 and we know that for making of the chemical formula we crisscross the valencies to obtain the molecular formula. In the simple way you can write that the formula of oxide of P is P2O. It means you have given the justification as well as you have mentioned the correct molecular formula also and this way you will get one mark for this part. I hope it is clear to you. In the similar way we can do this for the second part also. Halide of the elements of group 13 and it means in this case you have to mention halide of the elements of group 13. In this case we have to assume that the group 13 element be denoted by the symbol Q. I am just assuming and halogen is denoted by X because halide is given not chloride, bromide, iodide. Instead of that they are just mentioning that halide is there. So, we have denoted halide by X. Symbol Q for the element and X for the halogen. Valency of halogen is 1, we know that and the valency of the element of group 13 is 3. We have written the valencies, crisscross them to get the molecular formula and in this way the correct molecular formula of the halide of group 13 elements becomes QX3 and if you write in this way for this part also you will get one mark. After that there is the third part 
compound formed when an element A of group 2 combines with an element of B of group 17. It means in this case we have to take some alkaline earth metal and we have to consider some halogen and when these two combine there would be the formation of a compound we have to mention the molecular formula of that compound. So, in this case also we are just assuming that elements are A and B. A is the element of group 2. So, I will just mention here this A is the element of group 2 that is why its valency is 2 here and if I talk about B this is the element of group 17 with the valency 1. I have just crisscrossed the valencies and the formula becomes A B 2. This is the formula just have a look on that and justification that you can write here that the element is A its valency is 2 element is B its valency is 1 and after crisscrossing the valencies you are getting the formula that is A B 2 after their combination. So, this question will also give you one mark. I hope all the three parts of this question is clear to you and now it is a turn for the next question.